What's up, VC? Welcome back. This is Subtunes. I am Mike, making my final uh, mobile fidelity video. I'm sure we are all over this drama, tired of it. Um, this is actually a video I wasn't really expecting to make, and you'll see why. Um, so, I recorded my mobile fidelity drama reaction video on Saturday, um, and it blew up. It's my by far my most watched video, my most liked video, my most commented on video, and my most hated video. Um, so I appreciate everyone for supporting and watching that video. It was, blew my mind how many views it got. <laughs> so thank you again. Um, and apparently it got the attention of somebody at Mobile Fidelity, um, an executive who has been there for 20, almost 22 years. I'm going to leave his name out. Um, I just didn't ask if it was okay to use his name, so I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm not gonna say who it was at Mobile Fidelity, um, but it was an executive who's been there very, very long time. Um, so I, um, I, um, got an email on Saturday, uh, from this gentleman, and he wanted to set up a a phone call with me today or yet yeah, yeah today and um so i just finished that phone call <laughs> uh I, I i thought it was a scam i uh, had to google the guy i was pretty sure it was a total scam uh, but it wasn't it turned out it was actually him um i had heard his name many many times you know just being in different forums and being a mobile fidelity consumer for so long i i, I just i knew this gentleman's name uh, but I, I was worried it wasn't him. <laughs> so um, we we had a nice phone call. He, he um, it was about 22 minutes long. He uh, thanked me for um, all the support. He thanked me for the video. Um, just oh, just a little. Just in case you haven't seen my video, my video is um, not bashing mobile fidelity. Although I, you know, I I, I express that I'm I'm very disappointed with the company. Um, but I. Um, I buy their product because it sounds great. I am I am deaf in one ear, so all analog or all all digital doesn't matter to me as much as some people. Um, because of my hearing loss, I need the best sounding records I can get, and Mobile Fidelity does that for me. Um, if I was an audiophile and I only wanted all analog, I'd be furious right now. I would never buy another record from this company. Um, but in my case, it, it works great for me. Their product is amazing. They still sound as good as they did last week. And I explained that in my video and I talked to him about this also. Um, and he brought that up. We, we discussed that for a little bit. And uh, we, he, he was very honest, very open. Um, he, I'm being attacked. Uh, so he... He definitely got it. Uh, he understood the um, the flashback that the company is getting. He used the words misinterpreted a lot. Um, he did not really admit to any wrongdoing, but he did seem to understand that the company needs to fix this, uh, which is something I did not walk away from with um, Mike Esposito's interview um, on the other day. I, I, I walked away, I thought the company came across very poorly and they walked all over Mike. They just didn't answer his questions. I, I thought they came across not, not well at all. Um, after this phone call, I felt a little better. Um, so basically what we talked about, he talked about mastering, he loves to talk about mastering and um a lot of that goes right over my head <laughs> but um that's okay uh we had a good talk uh he wanted to talk a lot about misunderstandings misinformation that's out there he watched a lot of videos this week he's seen mazzy's videos he's seen michael 45's videos he's he sounded like he lot of, watched a lot of videos including my little video not sure why um but he, uh, and he didn't have anything nice to say about Michael Fremer. 
Uh, he, definitely not a fan. Um, I won't go into that. He, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, that's not what this video is about. I'm not here to do anything like that. So, um, but he was not a fan of Michael Fremer. So he, he's definitely watching videos and taking in what everyone is talking about and what they're saying. So I kind of got him off of the misinformation um, idea that he was on in the conversation. And I wanted to talk about what they're going to do moving forward. And moving forward, uh, I asked him what the plan was for the back catalog, what we've already purchased, that people are mad. They thought, I thought everything that wasn't a silver label was all analog. I think most people did. If it wasn't a silver label, it was all analog. I asked him, what, what are you going to do about that? And he said, starting next week, Tuesday or Wednesday, on the website, you're going to start seeing all the titles and their sources and pressing information um, listed on the website, starting with the most recent releases and then going back all the way to the 80s. Uh, he said it won't happen all overnight, but they're going to start Tuesday or Wednesday to post that stuff. Good to know. Uh, and then I asked him, well, what are you going to do moving forward? Uh, you know, moving forward, we need more transparency. I used the word transparency over and over and over again, and I think he understood it. Um, he, you know, he, he claims they were transparent. Uh, I, I don't, he knows they weren't. Uh, but I think the the fault probably lies in be, somewhere in between him and the consumer. We, we made assumptions. They were very vague about anyway so we 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 uh i'm not gonna get it. let's stick with the conversation uh so then i asked him um what he's get, moving forward what are we gonna what are we gonna see and I, I i told him that they have to put um they have to put something on the records stating where the source what the source is and any pressing information anything like that just to create more transparency it, they have to their 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 reputation is in the toilet right now and he, he he got it he said they are um they are working on that and they do plan on putting something he didn't say on the record on the record sleeve i told him not on the website not on the little flyer that nobody needs that they put inside the record it has to be on the back of the record sleeve maybe by the numbering wherever you want there has to be some label source labeling on the back of the record and he got it he said they're um they're in discussions uh, you know working on that um and then um i i told him he also needs oh and then um i, I he said moving forward that you know that is our plan but unfortunately a lot of upcoming releases are sleeves are already printed he said a lot of upcoming releases the sleeves are already done and printed so they can't go back and change it he said they're not going to do that but after that there will be some type of sourcing he didn't say on the record he said he would like it on the record a decision apparently hasn't been made yet and then i told him that he needs a face for the company there has to be a face of the company and um he agreed and uh, he said they have somebody in mind and, um, you know, they need somebody to get out there, first of all, do damage control. Second of all, every other company is doing it. Get on YouTube, get out there, do interviews, talk about your product, create transparency. It's, it's not that difficult. <laughs> and, you know, he said, we, we've never done that in the past because, honestly, we were too busy doing our work. And I just shook my head when I heard that. I, this is 2022. That is your job. You, you, you you gotta do that you have to have somebody out there especially in this this the vinyl resurgence that we have right now you need to be transparent and you need to be out promoting your stuff there's so many companies doing it and they're doing it just as good as you now so get out there so he did say there is somebody that they are thinking about putting in charge of that and doing that type of thing but he didn't commit to it and um I guess that's about it. There were a few other things I'm going to, I'm not going to talk about. Um, there was just a few things I, I'm not going to mention. Um, like I said, uh, I was surprised cause I'm no, I'm just a silly little YouTube channel. Uh, and I, I appreciate that he took the time to email me and call me and talk to me. 
uh, it was something that he very easily could have just left to a um, customer service rep, honestly. Uh, but he did take the time to uh, talk to me, and I appreciate that. And, um, you know, it's just starting, you know, it's, it's about bu building goodwill, I guess, at this point. And um, admitting you did something wrong, which I don't think I got. <laughs> there was no admissions. Um, but... Maybe maybe it's a step in the right direction. Um, you guys, I, I hope you're all safe and stay well, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.